full side action, and we're just about set to kick off. And now the coin toss, and it's presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Both teams are lining up for the kickoff, and we're just about set to get this one underway. And he got all of this one. Great kick. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. So here comes the offense taking the field for the first time today. He's got it with room to run. He's pushed out of bounds around the 36-yard line. Wide receiver's role in a play-action pass is to get into position and to hit his spot in timing and rhythm with the quarterback. And that's exactly what they were able to do on this last play. You realize you've got a little bit more time because of the play action, and it gives you more time to get to that point that the quarterback's looking for you to be at. But make sure you do a good job of selling your route and getting in position to give an open target for the quarterback. Catches it, and he's looking for more. And down he goes, right around the 36-yard line. That makes it first and ten. Throws it to the halfback on the screen. He's at the 20. He gets hit out of bounds around the 15-yard line. Nice job here by the quarterback of putting some air underneath this pass and letting his receiver catch up with it for a nice game. With the pass incomplete. It's second and ten. Ball on the 15. They'll bring him down at the 13-yard line. Strike to his receiver, no good. They'll call on the field goal unit here. That makes it so Southern Miss could take the lead with this field goal. Kicks away, and he's got it. Looks like they're ready for the kick. He's taken down at the 31. The quarterback brings his troops out onto the field for the first drive of the game. Brought down at the 31-yard line. From their own 31-yard line, second down. They'll spread the field with five wide. And they push him out at about the 37-yard line. He's going to try and scramble. Knocked out of bounds at the 47. Awesome running here on third down. That can bring a lot of confidence to an offense when they can pull that off so successfully. First and 10. Ball in the 47. Here we go. And he's taken down right around midfield. That's a game of the game. That'll make it 77. convert here on another third down. And they make the 
first stop at the 38 yard line. They'll go Brown. Tackle made at the 36 yard line. The running back gets two on the carry. Great play by the senior linebacker to step up in traffic and make that tackle. From the 36 yard line, it's second down. Makes it out to about the 26. It's the ninth play of the drive. Gets to about the 24-yard line. It's second and eight. Ball on the 24-yard line. Looks for the tight end, but they can't hook up. Here's the 11th play of the drive. Gets it out quickly. Tackle around the 12-yard line. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 12-yard line. Another run. Makes it to the 12-yard line. Play 13 of the current drive. Touchdown, Hilltopper. So a 13-play, 68-yard drive, and it results in a touchdown. Western Kentucky lines up for the kickoff. He just drills this one. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. You never like to have to play from behind, but a deficit this manageable shouldn't be in the front of their minds. They just need to go out there and play. The quarterback in the gun, empty backfield, five wide receivers in the formation. Slings it out there incomplete. Second and ten, ball on the 25. throw incomplete pass they come out on an empty backfield caught out of the open he's taken down at the 48 yard line Around the 47 yard line. Well, the question now is how will they respond after losing a couple on that run? From their own 47 yard line, it's second down. Quick out to his receiver. Out of bounds at the 48. Fires it out. And he's tackled at the 23. That makes it first and ten. Three, eight, three, eight. 
Makes it to the eight. That's another first down, Brad. And right now, you can just really feel and sense the rhythm that this offense is in. Their ability to pick up first downs, just pushing this defense further and further down, back deep into their own territory. Fires in there, got it, touchdown. These guys need to be aware this aerial attack is capable of making some big plays. They've got to get on their toes. So the kicker will line up here and try to give his team a three-point lead with this extra point. He splits the uprights with the extra point. An eight-play, 75-yard drive, and that's good for a touchdown. So the score now, 10-7. Southern Miss gets set to kick this one away. Fielded at the nine. Brought down at the 29. Somebody hit the upset alert button because this one looks like it just might be heading in that direction. 10-7, Golden Eagle. And we welcome you back to the action here. Just about set to start the second quarter. Momentum swings have been fairly even. And with so little separation, this game can be drastically changed on just one or two plays. Caught, open field. And he is drilled at the 45-yard line. From their own 45-yard line. First down. He goes out of bounds at the 46-yard line. That brings up second and nine. it to the 48-yard line. That makes it third, down. third down now, and they need to get it inside the 45. He's at the 40, and the tailback broke that one for a very nice game. Give the offensive line some kudos there. They blocked very well up front to create the holes for this back. The protection broke down. The defense was in the backfield in a hurry, and they brought the quarterback down. Nice play. That brings up second and 13. So it's second down and 13 yards to go following that quarterback sack. Makes the catch and look out. He's at the 30, and he shoved out of bounds around the 28-yard line. That'll make it third and one. Tight right, tight right. Four down, four down. Ready, ready to go. He scrambled. And he hits him hard at the 22. the 22-yard line. First down. And he carries the ball for a nice game. And this is the ninth play of the current drive. Takes it up the middle for a nice run. So far this drive, the defense has been unable to stop them on third down. Tackled after a decent pickup. This is the 11th play of this drive. run and he's 
he's brought down. That brings him second and goal. Just inside the five. Second down. And the goal line defense digging in here. That's a great tackle at the five. Loss of one there for the halfback. How about the hit by the defender? Just a great job of pursuing the ball. That's how you finish off a tackle. This is the 13th play of this drive. Here's the pass, broken up. This one should be makeable. Western Kentucky can tie it up here with this kick. Kicks up, and it's good. And you got to think they're pretty happy with holding them to a field goal right there. And it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. Room around the corner. And what a play by the kicker to take him down. I give the defense credit, but right now I think it's more case of sloppy offense. Yeah, you got to recognize that both defenses have come into this game with the right mindset. And they're very well prepared. But I'm with you. It's, it's one thing to have great defense. It's another thing when those defenses are going up against offenses, they're just not clicking right now and hitting on all soon. Throws it to the outside. And it falls incomplete. You know, Brett, this is one of those plays where the quarterback just wants to apologize to the wide receiver, maybe every other member of this offense. But the wide receiver, if he's smart, will come up to that quarterback, tell him to forget about it. Let's move on to the next play. Gets it out to his receiver in a hurry. And down he goes around the 44-yard line. Around the 37 yard line. They need about three yards to get the first here on second down. And a quick throw. They'll bring him down right around the 20. Good pitch and catch there on second down. Yep, it was good enough to get him the first down. That's just a nice play. The five. What a play, and that is first and goal. That one's more than good enough for the first down. Well, Brad, that is a great play by the quarterback to find his target past the marker to keep this drive moving. Got to a pass play with this defense. Brought down at the one. job of finding the space to run and just bursting in for six. And he hits the PAT. A seven-play, 58-yard drive. And it's good for seven points. So our score, 17-10. They line up to kick this one away. Nice kick, plenty of distance. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Well, this is a competitive game. It's fun to watch these two teams go back and forth. Just when you think one team has the edge, the other gets right back into it. This is exciting. In a game that's this close, you can't afford to waste possessions. Screen pass. He's got his half back. And he's taken down at about the 29-yard line. From their own 29-yard line. Second down. And 
he just gets rid of it. We've got a third and six here. Ball on their own 29. Hilltoppers taking their first time out of the half. One more play now before we hit halftime, so they'll most likely throw one towards the end zone here. Wants to go long and does. No, incomplete. We're going to halftime, and we've got a great game. Golden Eagles with a touchdown. Hi, everybody. Glad to have you with us on the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Chris Davis, David Pollock here in the studio as always to lend a little perspective to what just went down in the first 30 minutes. There is nothing, and I mean nothing, that is more important than turnovers. Now, so far, neither defense has been able to force one in this game, but you never know when that opportunity is going to come up. No, and people look at turnovers and they assume that it's luck a lot of times, but a lot of times it's preparation. It's being able to know that when certain teams line up like South Carolina back in 2002 in a certain formation where it's Tucson, Oakland, Stud, and they got three receivers to my side, and I know it's a rollout pass. As a defensive end, I widened my stance a little bit, came up field, hit the quarterback as he was throwing it. Next thing you know, the ref signals his hands up in the air and you get six points for it. So you can definitely be prepared and that's how you force those turnovers. That's it for us here in the studio. What are you gonna do in the second half while the game's going on? Yeah, I'm gonna kick back and watch all these monitors. We'll keep you up to date on everything going on around the country right now. Time for the second half with Brad and Kurt. Welcome back, everybody. Second half action about to begin. From the eight-yard line. Gets out to about the 31. There's still plenty of time to keep running their offense as usual here. I don't think they need to feel any anxiety about trailing. He steps out at the 34-yard line. That's good for three yards. That'll make it second and seven. Second down and seven coming up here. Ball on the 34-yard line. Tackle at the 50. When you're running the ball for big chunks of yards like that, you've got something working. Five wide receivers split out. The quarterback in the gun. Scrambling around. The ball is loose. Now the defense has it. The safety. That was a huge turnover. Yeah, and it couldn't have come at a better time for this defense. You're trying to come up with a big stop, and now you get the ball back with the lead. Here comes the offense as they look to find the end zone yet again. Southern Miss up seven points. Nice run up the middle. About the 43 yard line. Slings it. And they make the start on the 44 yard line. And he's tackled. 
tackled after positive yardage. Gain of six yards. First down. The ball pops free. It's scooped up by the offense. But you've always got to secure the ball tightly because, you know, everybody on that defense is trying to rip it away. So a big momentum shift could be in the making here as we take a look at the possible fumble. And the booth is going to take a few looks at this to see whether or not the ball came out before he was down. So the booth and the referee agree. The runner's knee was down. That was still a close call, though, Brad. Even though he was down, this guy has to do a better job of holding that football. Southern Miss is up by a touchdown. Makes the catch and gets out of bounds. Steps out of bounds at the 14-yard line. That brings up second and nine. And he throws it away. Good job here by the defense. If you let this quarterback set and throw, he'll kill you all game. But they got excellent pressure on that play. And this is the 10th play of the drive. They come out in a five-wide set. Big play, and it's first and goal. That makes it first and goal. He's level at the one yard line. They line up in the jumbo set. Touchdown, Golden Eagles. And so they punch it in on the ground, Kirk Herb Street. Great job up front by the offensive line. They get a good, strong push that allowed the runner to get it in there for the touchdown. And he adds the extra point. An 11-play, 62-yard drive, and it results in a touchdown. Brad, I thought that was a textbook drive. I thought they did a really good job of showing balance, mixing the play calling with the run and the pass. Just an overall well-executed touchdown drive. Caught at the eight. The Golden Eagles continue to get it done on the defensive side of the football curve. Yeah, they've done a good job of building this lead and almost determined here to protect it. Let's see if they can hold on here for the rest of the way. The last time the offense had it, they lost a fumble. So I'm pretty sure the coaching staff was over there talking about ball security. The first rule on offense is to take care of the football. These guys need to remember that on this drive. They'll work the left. And he's tackled around the 20-yard line. Second and ten. Twenty. Got a man in and out of his hands. Number eighty-five was the intended receiver on the play. That brings us third and ten. And he tackles him hard at the seventeen-yard line. It's away and it's a booming punt. Oh man, did he take a hit? 
Golden Eagles have shown here in the third quarter they're not content to just sit on that lead they built the first half. Well, they did a nice job in the first half, but the adjustments that they made at halftime have allowed them to find some matchups to their advantage, and they've taken uh, full advantage of it. Six points and a pretty display of passing was a result of their last drive. Kirk, do you expect the defense to take a different approach here? When this quarterback is on, he is on. It already seems like whatever this defense is trying just isn't working. But maybe if they add just a little bit more pressure, then they might be able to force him into a mistake. Fires quickly, and he's got his man. That makes it first and ten. Gets out to around the 28. Throws complete. He's got space to work. He's taken down at the 18 yard line. He fights forward to about the second and seven. Ball on the seven. rid of this one. Here's the eighth play of the series. Gives it to the back. Nice run to the outside. The delayed handoff picks up about six yards there. Fourth down, and the offense is still on the field. Need three guesses to figure out what they're going to run right here on fourth and short. Quick strike and it's caught for the touchdown. He hit the big tight end for six on that one. As a quarterback, you like the tight end inside the 10 yard line because they for finding the opening. And then you can just drill it in there. They rolled the dice and went for it on fourth. And I'm sure they're happy with the result. And he tacks on the extra point. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. Fielded at the nine. He makes it out to maybe the 30-yard line. There's got to be some sense of urgency to this offense right now. They don't have the luxury of wasting drives if they want to get back in the game. They come out on an empty backfield. He goes out of bounds to the 38-yard line. We've reached quarter number four, and right now it looks like we may have an upset. 31-10, Golden Eagles. Into the fourth quarter now, and we're back to the action. He's scrambling, heading for the corner, and he's sacked. Absolutely perfect call by the defensive coordinator. He brought just the right amount of pressure from the right direction, and it seemed to confuse the offense. Third down, and they're going to need about three yards to pick up the first down. And he carries the ball for a nice game. Bounds 
around the 45-yard line. From their own 45-yard line. Second down. I love to see a confident quarterback, but you don't want to just go back there and put blind faith into your throws. You need a little bit more time to evaluate the coverage before you release the football. Makes a catch, and he's got nowhere to go. It's fourth down, and the offense is getting set to go for it. A quarterback in the gun with five receivers. He's on the run. He gets sacked on the play. I think they had to go for it given the circumstances. They just couldn't pull it off. The offense just wasn't able to make a play. The defense was really clutch right there. Both teams are well aware that a score on this drive is going to create an almost insurmountable lead. This defense has really got to step it up and make a stop. Makes it to the 34. There's a player down. I'm not sure what happened. Short yardage situation here. It's second down and one. Tackled for a loss. The option can be really tough to defend. At that time, it was well played by the defense. it out to his receiver in a hurry. They'll bring him down right around the 30. From the 30-yard line. First down. Just over two minutes in. Hand off up the middle. Brought down at the 32. Once he saw it was a run, he made a great break on the ball and used his speed to make the big tackle. So the halfback loses about two on the run. They'll line it up again on third down. to that quickly and down he goes at the 25 yard line fourth down they're going to try a long field goal here He gets it up, and it's good! Looks 
like they're ready for the kick. He just drills this one. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. I'm sure there are a lot of fans out there hoping for a miracle, but I seriously doubt we're going to see one today. He's on the run. He's to the 40. And he's taken down around the 49-yard line. That's the end of the ball game, and our final score in this one, 34-10, Southern Miss. So that wraps things up for us, 3A Sports and Kirk Herbstreet. I'm Brad Nessler saying thanks, and we'll see you next time.